Hello, everyone. Uh, I think most of you were in this, the, the book, so I don't think I really need to introduce myself, but I'm going to anyway. Um, I, am, I, I do like using memes. I, that's basically all that is on my Facebook timeline. Um, but it, who is this guy? Uh, yeah, you already know. I'm Matt Graham, uh, senior web developer uh, at Sandbox, husband and dad, jack of all trades. I kind of do a little bit of everything. Um, Eternal student of human behavior, which is part of the reason why I'm doing a talk on mental health. And I'm also a meme lord. There, there are two levels above me, but meme lord is kind of the redistribution engineer is one of the things I like to call it. <laughs> and of course, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have had a really um, bad month. I was going to swear there for a second, but I, wanna, I don't want to save the editing. Um, so, as this meme describes, uh, you know, when I'm counseling other people, my friends, on their mental health, I'm, you know, very much the stoic, uh, you know, put together person. But when it comes to my own mental health, I'm a little frazzled. So, again, this is very much talking about uh, mental health in the freelance or remote space. So, if you work by yourself, or if you work with a company, but you are, you know, in a random room in your house and doing 90% of your work without anyone around you, 37% have mental health issues versus 13% of people who do both in office and remote. One of the things that, as a society, we do, we, we we really raise people. Oh yeah, sorry, camera. Um, we really raise people. I gotta be in camera, I guess. <laughs> Screenshot. Yeah, thank you. Um, we really elevate people who, you know, get to the peaks. Uh, you know, do big things. But we also have to elevate those people who have come from the depths and pulled themselves up to you know, level ground, let alone to the mountaintop. And that, and I think this is a perfect example of, you know, mental health. People who have pulled up and pulled themselves up, gotten the help they needed. One, th several things that I'm, I'm going to repeat it. You are not alone. If you have problems, if, if you're finding yourself depressed or anxious, you are not alone. And you are not your thoughts. And if none of these things that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about some, some strategies and, and things that you can do to help your mental health. If these don't help, seek help. It's, it's not, it, the, yeah, there's still a stigma about it. Doesn't matter. You matter more than the stigma. So first thing I'm going to talk about is diet. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I know I thought about it. Why is this slightly portly guy talking about a diet? When I say diet, I do not mean I'm going on a diet. I mean what you eat on a daily basis. What your normal food intake is. And I know I shouldn't say that with coffee crisp in front of me. It's off camera. It's off camera. No, it, it, beat that entire thing out. Okay. But... The, the thing that I hesitate to say, but it's true. Sugar is a drug. And I say that because of the high it gives you and the fact that it drops you down when it's gone. Yes, sir. I already, I already said it and we need to beep that out. Anyway. And I'm not saying that sugar is a complete no-go. Of course, indulge every once in a while, but just don't have it as your main source of energy. Um, what, sorry, what was that? I'm not going to talk about coffee. <laughs> Caffeine is also a drug, but it's, it's acceptable. Anyway, it is a beautiful drug. Anyway, um, yeah, so I mean, you know, do not. 
Yeah, exactly. Do or do not. There is no try. Um, uh, there's no Star Wars references, which is slightly shocking. Anyway, um, exercise. Another thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you have a question? Oh, yeah. I know. Do or do not. There's there's the Star Wars. Yeah, the Star Wars references are in the room. I, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so I I don't have the statistic with me, but there is a direct correlation between exercise and your mental health in that after you've done exercise, after you've raised your heart rate, the mental health effects actually last for hours after. I don't know what the exact timing is, but it's like three to four hours uh, after. Um, and that can have a lasting effect and a, you know, a, a compounding effect over time. Again, the big guy talking about exercise. I realized the, the, you know, the irony, thank you, the irony of that. But again, exercise, it really, really helps. And I, w I, I should have gotten a picture of when I actually, I, I lost 75 pounds. I'm back up to where I was before, but I, w I lost 75 pounds and I felt great. Probably the best I'd felt in ever, as far as I know. So, another meme for you. People who tra train for strength, people train for aesthetics. I just want to make the sad and the voices go away. <laughs> Self-care. Um, so, one of the things that, especially going into the freelance and, you know, and into remote work, you have a tendency to maybe work a little bit longer than you probably should. Um, for some people, not everybody. I mean, Kira sounds like she's got her uh, five o'clock deadline, but yeah. no, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, exactly. So self-care, it's, you know, something as simple as going for a haircut. You like getting your nails done. Uh, you know, um, yeah, Manny, Manny Petty, yeah, exactly. And that, that, was, that was my next point, is something as simple as taking a shower. Um, some people, that is what they need to do. That's what they need to force themselves to do to have good self-care. My self-care, and I have to say, go Jays, go, because um, uh, of Nick saying, go Bills, go. So, you know, I had to put my digs in. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, also another thing that you, that self-care really, uh, it, it, another thing for self-care is saying no. So... I am well within my rights to decline this request and literally no one will think badly of me if I say no because they understand that nobody can be expected to say yes to everything and my time is just as valuable as theirs and healthy boundaries are totally okay, but also me, yes. Of course I'm going to do it for you. So, yes, um, say no. Have a way to say no. Remember, sometimes you have to say no. I'm talking to myself. That's why I'm saying it over and over again. So mindfulness. Um, so there, uh, there are multiple studies where prayer, uh, you know, if you have a, a faith background, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Meditation, thank you. Um, those types of things are extremely good for mental health because you are trying to shut, uh, trying to shut out the world a little bit, internalize your thoughts, what's going on, and it's, it's a really good way to calm yourself down, whether it's for anxiety or depression. Those are really good strategies. Another thing, cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, the best way, if you've never heard of it before, the best way I can explain it is the way that you think about external factors, mostly other people, it's not necessarily what's, th what's reality. So say, I haven't heard from my client. Uh, they, must, they must hate me. They must hate what I've done for them. You know, I sent them a bill. I haven't heard anything. Chances are they probably just missed your email. Or they're going through some stuff themselves. So there's a book, um, Mind Over Mood. This, this is a endorsement. Um, 
it's basically like the, the talk about uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and going through those motions of taking a step back and reframing what's happening so that it doesn't tear you down. You don't, you're not tearing yourself down. Um, yeah, another, another strategy, find your tribe. So I hesitate using that uh, terminology, but really what it boils down to is finding people like-minded, whether it's in the same vocation or, so, or a hobby that you enjoy doing, find people who, and that's exactly what I was gonna say, you've already done it by coming here. Um, you know, people with at least a tangential love of WordPress, if not it being core to what they do for a living, um, you know, you get to talk with other people about your trials in WordPress and building sites and building plugins and all the stuff are around it. Um, it's, it's cathartic, it's therapeutic, just having someone else to talk to. Because again, if you're sitting in an office for eight hours a day with no one else to talk to, See, I was, I was, I was, it's, it's, she's now, now just you're heckling me? It took you this long? Like I realize I'm going through this way too fast, but it took you that long. It took you 15 minutes? I'm sad. That's not that serious. How, have you seen how many memes I put up here? Anyway. No, but really, I mean, yes, we we do talk, you know, at least once or twice a day, and that's and that's one of the good things that I, I like about Sandbox is we do have our daily stand up. Is it productive? No, not at all. But we talk and we talk about what we're doing that day, and we have the stupid, uh, not stupid, just silly like contests, like we're having a uh, potato chip, like salty snack contest right now. And I'm, I'm really disappointed, but Cool Ranch has already been knocked out of the race. I know. It lost to All Dressed, which, which is... It's All Dressed. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I will fully admit that part of my Canadian citizenship has been revoked because I do, I do not like ketchup chips and I do not like All Dressed chips. I realize that uh, that our prime minister might be walking into the room any second now to, to take my passport away. Um, anyway, no. So, but yeah, find like have have the social time. Like, don't just sit there by yourself. Get social. Whether it's, I mean, I, I hesitate to tell people to go to a bar, but if that's how you're going to get your social time, and you're not going to become there you go. Go to, a, go to a Starbucks once in a while. Even if you don't talk to someone, there's human contact involved. Board game. Oh, yes. Board game. Well, and that's, and that's the other thing, too. Yeah, so that's the other thing is if you're a coder or even if you're not a coder, but you work from home by yourself, go to a library. Go to a co-working space if you have one available in your town. Um, try and like see if there are any meetups in your town that it's literally just you sit around and you code. You can you know talk to someone and whatever. Point is, get social. Well, and that's the thing, right? That it's 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 that happy it's that happy medium of yeah yeah yeah. Yes. There, Yes, and that's the thing. That's the thing. Yes. So go to a bar not to drink, but to, to be with friends. Yeah, put, exactly. There you go. So yeah, and then don't, don't get caught into this trap where the only reason you see other people is for them to exploit what you do. When you're actually competent and everyone sees you uh, coming to you with work, I've been doomed by my own greatness. Yeah. Another thing, forgive yourself. 
that you've made mistakes. Guess what? Everybody makes mistakes. You're not alone. Yeah, you. Yeah, you do. What? Sorry, what? Well, you said she didn't make no, she said she didn't make mistakes. She did. Yeah, I know, right? She's still she's still a newbie coder. I'm yeah. I'm watching her. You want to say it with the rest of the class? Nope. Carry on. All right. Yeah. So, again, it, you, you, you need to forgive yourself. What are you laughing at me for? I'm being. How long did it take me to start actually? You had a timer going on before. Yeah, she did respect. Everything I mean. Yeah, exactly. That's right. See, let's, let's go back. So, refresh. Yeah, exactly. So when, are they laughing at me or are they laughing with me? You're not instilling confidence with that one. Yeah, that was a soft one. No. Yeah, exactly. This dog is descending into madness. And that's all? So yeah, again, it's the whole, and yeah. So I'm definitely on that side today, I think. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So again, remember, you're not alone. You're not alone. You are not your thoughts. And if none of these things work, seek professional help. Your worth, your, your worth and your life is not dictated by these things. If, don't, don't give in to pride and say, oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do these things. Seek professional help. If, if none of these things work, do it for yourself. You're worth it. You, you are, we, we talk about equality because you are. You're equal to everyone else. Don't, don't give in to pride. And yeah, so sorry for acting weird. I'm weird. And it will happen again. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's 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 a highly memeified AI generated thing. So I know this really isn't a question and answer sort of thing, but does anybody have any questions? Because I have really flown through that that one. <laughs> that one it, that one is from uh, an app called Lenza. Yes. Are there software engineers? So, uh, no, I, you know what? That's, that's an excellent question. I, that, that would be a, a niche vocation. So the question, the question was, is there a uh, therapist specifically for software engineers like there are for like sports, uh, sports people? As far as I know, no. Um, but, yeah, well, that's the thing. This might be this might be a new niche, or, I mean, at the end of the day, finding someone who is knowledgeable in CBT and going through that, because it it comes back to what Shanta was saying in the last session, that sometimes you need that structure to be able to go through that uh, to go through to go through and learn something. So I c I can recommend that book all day, and it might sit on your desk until uh, what's that? Well, and that's the thing. The book would sit on your desk uh, un until the end of time because you haven't picked it up and looked at it. But if you have a therapist who's trained in it, who goes through that book with you or does it in their own way, then it's going to click better for some people. Oh, 100% there is. 
Yeah. 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 Hey, no, I uh, I call myself crazy all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Is this mine or is this yours? All right. Yes, I do need to give a shout out to Big Orange Heart, who is um, an organization. I mean, uh, they they do conferences, but they have a Slack um, that is it is around WordPress and and mental health. And there's a channel that I frequent, going, "How are you today?" And you literally let, rate yourself from one to ten, and you vent, and people respond, even if it's just like giving you the, a heart emoji. Um, but some people will, like, if they've been through this, the same thing you've been through, they'll talk about it. Absolutely. Pull request anxiety is real. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it's just like and there are some days it will just go on for hour for hours. Yeah. And it's just you posting you get yeah. it by saying like whatever. Like it could be this, it could be whatever. Yeah. And believe me, there are times when I have gone there when I've had the crappiest day and I'm just watching it go in and you're going, Yeah, like the, literally the gift that you're posting is like, Yeah, I know what you're talking about and, and we just respond to each other. Exactly. In in gifts. And one of the other ones I have is uh, that I started up with the that's right, yeah. So, hi. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to Squirrel. come on there and talk about ADHD, again, yeah. I'm not a professional, but, you know, it's, but it's, hard, it's, it's partly about finding what works for you. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah. I want to emphasize something you said about the tribe and, and, and the people here. I, 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 it's valid, but I also think uh, it's all about the vibes that people around you mm. And you know what, I, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I would, in, in terms of my talk, I would sort of lump that in with self-care because as part of your mental health journey, you may need to cut people out of your life that pull you down. Exactly. Make that hard decision to go, look. And I know that there are people, not so much in my life now, because COVID kind of just organically got rid of some of these people. Um, okay, so, so full confession, full confession, I am not one for conflict. I get very uncomfortable with conflict. Stop it. Yeah, very. Barry. So, so, but all that to say that, you know, when it comes time to do that sort of thing that I need to say, look, I, I just don't, I can't associate with you anymore. I can't, I can't be around you. Sorry. Like that, that's, that's been, it's been very difficult for me over my life. But. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's actually oh, one of the, yeah, the better help. There's a new one in Canada that I can't remember the name of. There's, I want to say there are like two or three ones that actually 
bring on registered uh, therapists that you just go onto the site, you, you, do, um, you do some like questionnaire and they match you based on the, the questions that you've answered. So yeah, but BetterHelp is a good one, definitely. I've actually used BetterHelp myself. Um, it was very good. Um, uh, and talking about the mindfulness, uh, there's a couple apps that you, can, that you can do as well. There's the Calm app. Headspace, that was another one that I've used. Um, there's another one that just came out with a year for free and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's actually on my phone. Where did I put my phone? Oh, it's in my back pocket. Uh -huh. Come on. Um, it is called... Nope, it's none of those. I don't know which one it is anymore. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it got pushed out of my newly installed apps. Um, but yeah, there's, there's lots of apps that kind of just guide you through that meditation uh, that can help with that sort of thing as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay, if I'm, if I'm gonna, if I'm, we are at a tech conference, so I am going to take the tech answer and go the Wi-Fi sucks at Tim Hortons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and that's the thing, Tim Hortons isn't Canadian anymore. It's Brazilian. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah, so to repeat the camera uh, for the ca for the, the to, to, to repeat the camera. Yep. Yeah. So to repeat the question for the audience at home, um, uh, is there, is there a way that you can kind of force yourself to do those things when you're in a funk? Um, I'll be honest. The the thing that I default to when I'm in that bad of a funk is I will go for a walk. Because I just need to walk away from the computer, and I keep walking. And, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so sorry, to, to reiterate that again for the folks at home, um, is to have, to, to kind of take those two things and have a tribe that you can be held accountable to. Yeah. How do you how do you how do you how do you climb out of the hole? Yeah. And so one of the things I was thinking about is again, along what we were talking about the last one, do it on a regular schedule. Yeah. Don't even just do it when you're in a funk. Do it in a preventive sort of methodology yeah. when you go, you know what? Every day I am gonna go for a so, time. Yeah. And so to, so, I mean, to kind of say the same thing that you said, but in my, so I, I said earlier that I had lost 75 pounds. The way I did that, I was tracking my calories with an app and I was held accountable to someone on the other side of that. I was paying, you know, a monthly fee. It was, it was Noom. It was, it was actually really good, but they focused on the diet. Then every morning I was either going for a six kilometer walk. Sorry, what's that in miles? Four, four miles, uh, four-ish miles, um, or I was going for a bike ride that was about an hour, um, 
and or going to the gym and doing weight training. Um, so, but I had that on a schedule. So I was being held accountable on the diet and I had the schedule for the exercise and that's what made me successful. And when I stopped, that's when everything fell apart. And that, exactly, it's the first step that's always the hardest. It really is. Yeah. 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 Seven. Yep. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yep. 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 And if, and if you are just like, if you're not ADHD and you're anxious or you're, you have clinical depression, do not, again, don't let your pride get in the way of taking medication. Whether it's ADHD, anxiety, depression, or any combination thereof. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, and guess what? My GPA shot up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if I ever had 
but I don't but ever, listen to this. I have that dramatic yeah, yeah. No, but, yeah. but I will say this much is that when I did take it for three months, I told my parents only because I said if I ever get taken to the hospital, you guys need to be able to tell them what I'm on. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I didn't tell a soul. And two of my friends said, you changed. But, I mean, I personally didn't see the difference, but then the question is, how much did I change versus the benefits? Mm -hmm. right. But, like, I, I don't know how much is it placebo. Anybody else? Oh, yes, sir. Um, a lot of doctors, you know, you get medications, and, and you know, they say, oh, that's this and that's and this, you know. And they don't tell you the adverse effects of these medications. You know, a lot of places I go in is uh, National Library of Medicine, uh, Mayo Clinic. Yeah. Um, what's the other one? Drugs.com. They got a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can see how many people have had these reactions and things like that. So if something comes up and you're on these meds, you're informed. Yeah. You know, you know, yep. Talking, like, Absolutely. Oh, this guy came in with sit, like, told me to push these You have to really be careful with these. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's, and that's the thing. You need to trust your doctor and you need to be informed. I, like, I've had the same GP f basically since I was 13. I, entrust him, I trust him implicitly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it took, it took us a while to figure out what was the best medication for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I've only been on the medication I'm on now for two and a half years. Um, and I've basically had some form of depression. And I mean, I've only been recently diagnosed with uh, severe depression in the last two years, and that's what got me on this medication. But, you know, it's, it's not cut and dry for everybody. I mean, ADHD itself is multifaceted in how it presents in different people. Same with depression, same with anxiety. So, yeah, you're right. You need to be informed. Um, and again, sometimes you might need to figure out what the best one is for you. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely. It's not, it's not about, it's not about fear. It's about making sure you get what's right for you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, our minds, our, our minds is how, how our body manages itself, how we make money, frankly. Like, you know, if we didn't have a brain, well. <laughs> anyway, some people, no, just kidding. So, any, any other questions, comments, kudos, criticisms, comments? Yes, sir. Oh, wait, uh, got, got two more, two more. Sean first. Yeah. Um, just to share, you know, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, I'm not medicated for it. And one of the reasons that I'm nervous about taking medication for it is my brain does something really, really well. Yes. And yeah. I'm, I'm yes. afraid that ADHD I took off the medication, yeah. that all of a sudden that's going away. Correct. And yeah. So I'm, I'm not weird. saying that anymore than to say if you're also having that feeling, you're not alone. That's, yeah. that's my personal yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started from. Yeah. Like, yeah. I started with that. I need to evaluate. So I only took a certain amount of time and then track what the prediction. And like I said, these two of my friends said, you know, if you're not the usual spontaneous person that you are in normal whatever, when you're doing a kata at martial arts, there's something about your energy that isn't there. You know what? If it means that I'm going to pass my university versus being able to do a PI longer or more energy. As long as I'm performing what I need to do, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's about, yeah, you're going to worry about what it does to the way. But at the same time, understand what the DHD is taking you to do as well. I would go to the natural. Yeah. Just purely as, a, as my own experience. Yeah. There was another one. Correct. Yeah. 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 Right. You're, you're better yeah. off knowing what it is you're going to miss and then you can see how you can move. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you so much.